Today our goal is to talk about taxation of corporate investment income. There is two kinds of income inside your corporation. Number one called active income which you earn from your business activity. And that active income is taxed at two different rates. General rate and small business rate. And that is based on the net revenue of your corporation. The other form of income is passive income. The passive income is the income you earn from the existing assets. So for today's illustration purpose, we are going to assume two things. We are using 2019 tax brackets. As the year progress, the non-taxable portion uh, uh, will increase and these brackets will move up. But if for this conceptual point of view, it should not be, it will not change because uh, till the in capital gain inclusion rate will change. So that will be the, our first assumption. The second assumption, the re, there is a thing called refund dividend tax on hand, which mechanism is had your corporation that it will re, you can pay certain amount of dividend tax free on the basis of the pool value. But we, we are not going to get in deep discussion on that mechanism we are trying to illustrate how from dollar earned inside the corporation in different form of income reaching your pocket in your pocket out of the corporation so there is first of all there is one thing you have to remember that a different form of income is taxed differently not and that is one of the thing we are going to illustrate in this representation number one if you earn interest income, which you will earn from GIC bonds inside the corporation, that is interest income. That income is taxed inside your corporation with 50.67% rate. The refundable dividend tax on hand will be negative 30.67 credit. So the net tax on that money is 20%. So if you earn $1,000, you will pay $200 tax on that money in your corporation. You have $800 left and that you will dividend that income to the shareholder and the shareholder will pay at the top tax rate which you're assuming is 40.37 percent in 2019 so net after taxes if you earn a thousand dollar in interest income that interest income when it will reach to your pocket it will be 477 dollars and the tax paid on it is 52.30 so that's the interest income. The second form of income is called eligible dividend. Eligible dividend is, is paid by Canadian corporations. So if you're getting that, if you own a RBC stocks or CN stock or CP stocks or Brookfield, they if they are paying you dividend, those stocks are tax considered eligible dividend. When that eligible dividend, the corporation will be taxed at 38.33%. Ref refundable dividend tax on hand will be all identical so the net tax on that money is zero now if you take that thousand dollar you push it down to the shareholder the shareholder is going to pay 29.64 percent tax 296 dollars on thousand dollar so on thousand dollar eligible dividend the net to your pocket when it reaches your pocket you will have 704 dollars which is a way better outcome than $407, $77. Now, if you move to capital gain, capital gain is, so if you buy an asset and you spend $1,000 and that $1,000 become $2,000, that $1,000 which is gain is considered a capital gain. As of right now, the inclusion rate of a capital gain is 50%. So the 50% of that money will be taxed. So tax rate is 25.354%. Then your uh, refundable dividend on hand will be 15.34 you pay 10 percent tax in the corporation thousand dollar hundred dollar will be paid in a corporation nine hundred dollar will be left to pay to the shareholder out of that 900 500 is paid through a capital dividend account which is a different mechanism beyond the scope of this presentation and when then your other 400 will be paid as a dividend to the shareholder. So the net $1,000 capital gain, when it reaches your pocket, it will be $739, which is better than eligible dividend. Now, so far, we figured this out. The highest form of in a, in a tax you're going to pay is going to be interest and lowest is capital gain. Now, the third, fourth form of a, a income is foreign dividend. Foreign dividend is the dividend which you receive from non-canadian firms like microsoft has a very small dividend apple most of those are popular american banks and if you own when they pay dividend they, those dividends are considered foreign dividend foreign dividend will be taxed at 50.67 percent 
and the RDTOH credit, which is a refundable dividend tax on hand, will be the lease is 18.77. So on a thousand dollar, you're going to pay 319 dollar tax in the corporation. 681 dollar is left to pay out the shareholder. So when that thousand dollar foreign dividend reaches your pocket, it will be 406 dollars. So that is one of the things we have to keep it in mind. Now, if we compare all these four different forms of income, we came to this conclusion that the, if till the inclusion rate is 50%, the capital gain is the best form of man, way to get, get the money out of the corporation. And after this, eligible dividend, after this, interest income, and then the foreign dividend. So when you're structuring your portfolio, it is very important to consider how these passive assets are invested and what how they which kind of income they are generating.